Hello, this is Mandy from Mew Art Studio and uh, today I'm, I'm going to show you the process of uh, making Penguin Family silk scarves. The reason I say it's family scarves is because it's one is bigger, one is smaller. Obviously, uh, mommy and baby. Okay, so are you curious to see how they look like? Ta da! They all finished this morning. Enjoy. So this is the outline. This is a frame, uh, a silk scarf, thirty-five centimeter by one hundred eighty centimeter, and I have the good outline ready to go. It's dry now. For the good, I'm using HD pound, and uh, add a nick on top to make sure we can make very fine line like this some hand brushes color and a jar of water okay let's get started
step. Um, it's finished painting, but still need to process it, so it will be waterproof. Not waterproof, but you can wash it. That means. So I will need to put it in a steamer for three hours. I just show you how to do it at home. Okay, now let's continue yesterday's penguin silk scarf um, process. And last night I left it um, steamed for three hours. And here I'm just going to quick introduce how to steam at home. What do you need? I have um, I have this this one. It's a timer by this hours. One. And I also ordered another one because before uh, I moved my house, we have a garage, so I have a kind of like a chimney tall silk scarf steamer but uh, th th this house I don't have a garage so I have to shrink down my equipment so I just I ordered this one online and this one is also good uh, because uh, when you steam when you steam the silk scarf you don't need to have the the cooker as a full power once it's boil once it's boiling you just turn it down to a very low, just keep the steam going on, that's fine. So usually for three hours like uh, this, uh, it's enough water in Today, there. Today, just what I would do, uh, we will just open it and rinse it and iron it, see how the color is, how, how much color come out. This is kind of exciting. You so I open it, it's still dry, that is a good thing, because uh, if um, during the time, it, when before the color, settled on silk any water will mark it the color kind of um, mixed very well and then the from one color to another is transformed from light to dark it's uh, make it very soft okay now let's go rinse the scarf and see how it looks to rinse the silk scarf you we just need the cold water Some colors start to come out. The black one. But don't worry, it just looks very dark. Sometimes it's the uh, actual uh, layer I put on top of and the black. But sometimes I think they're not black enough, so I put uh, layers and layers of black on top. But it's, it's the silk because uh, the fabric is very thin, it can only hold a certain amount. So it doesn't matter how much color you put on top, before, until it rains, you never know what's going to set in there. This is the second rain. The color is a little bit blue, but not so bad. Now we'll do one more time. And this time the water is clear, so which is good news means all the colors settled, permanent. Squeeze very gentle and pull the water. I just do, I just do it one more time to make sure everything is clear. Okay, that's fine. Now the next one. Again, the black color will come off some of the black. Because all oh, the penguin were black. This is the second time. So all the black is clear. Now it's the blue run a little bit. Let the blue out. Mm. 
this is a smaller scarf, so it gets clear quicker than a big scarf. Now the water is very clean, clear to me, so I will just stop it. And I put it also here. Okay. Now I'm having both scarves in here. Just going to do the ironing and then we will see how the finally the color look like after the steam. I set up the iron a little bit higher, a little bit higher than the silk setting. Absorb some of the water. For the first few times, when you iron in a, a new silk scarf, it will always have some of the pants come off. That is normal. Don't worry about it. And ironing the, the golden outline from the back. So turn it over. So you need to lay something on top. I'm just using one of my scarf. Only for the gutter part. Or you can also use the very thin fabric. Okay, this one is dry. Let's do the next. I got some blue line on my iron uh, tower because this part, the edge, is always the part to uh, absorb extra color. So it's, it's normal to have it like that for the first few times when you wash it. So I open here, I found this part is the good to outline part. I put it in the back.
this one looks wider than this one. This is a bigger one, the mummy one, this is the baby one. And then the penguin family, in this bigger picture, it's uh, can, uh, the baby, mummy, daddy, and here, okay, uh, it can be mummy with the baby, and it also can be single mothers. So who said single mother cannot have a family scarf with the babies? If you want to try at home, uh, you can do it so. If you have any questions, then just leave, me, leave it in the comments and I will try my best to help you out. Thank you.